Prove that tan a plus sin a divided by tan a minus sin a equals to secant a plus 1 by secant a minus 1. Now let's look at this 10th grade problem strictly for the 10th graders who are just learning the trigonometry. So we have been given tan a plus sin a divided by tan a minus sin a equals to secant a plus 1 divided by secant a minus 1. Now we know the trigonometric ratios we have in trigonometry they are sin a cos a tan a secant a cosecant a and cot a. In this problem we have tan a sin a secant a. So let us try to understand the relationship between these trigonometric ratios. Then our approach to solve this problem is to convert the left hand side into sin and cos take LCM and simplify that. If needed, we will go to the RHS and we will work on the RHS and also convert that into sin and cos and show that left hand side equals to right hand side. So let us start. My first statement will be, I will write down tan A plus sin A. So before that I said I will discuss about what is the relation between sin and cos and tan and other trigonometric ratios sin by cos is tan a we know this this is what we are going to use we also know that 1 by cos a equals to secant a so if you are aware of this then this problem can be easily solved so let's go ahead our first step will be change the tan a into sin a and cos a so i will write down sin a divided by cos a plus sin a divided by sin a by cos a minus sin a. Now we can take LCM here we have sin a by 1 and sin a by 1. So LCM will be cos a. Then we will have sin a plus cos a sin a or can I say sin a cos a divided by again we take LCM here we have cos a. So we have sin a now minus sin a cos a. In the next step we will try to take common and simplify this. So let us go ahead. We can write down this as yes. we will write in another color just not to confuse. We will say sin a plus sin a cos a divided by cos a and multiply with cos a divided by sin a minus sin a cos a. Let us go to the next step. We can cancel cos a cos a. Left out is sin a plus sin a cos a. Divided by sin a minus sin a cos a. You can clearly see that we can take sin a common. Can we write it as sin a into 1 plus cos a divided by sin a into 1 minus cos a. Now sin a sin a cancels. What we have is 1 plus cos a by 1 minus cos a. But the answer we have to prove is right hand side is secant a plus 1 by secant a minus 1. Now this is where we will use the formula we know that cos a is 1 by secant a. Cos a secant a are reciprocal so 1 minus 1 by secant a. Let us take the LCM again. We will have secant a plus 1 divided by secant a 
divided by secant a minus 1 divided by secant a. When you simplify that, secant a, secant a will cancel. Left out is what we want, that is secant a plus 1 divided by secant a minus 1, that is our right hand side. So, if you are new to the trigonometry, you are learning first time, then these are the simple problems which will give you a little bit of confidence that you can solve trigonometric identities. We have to prove that tan a plus sin a by tan a minus sin a equals to secant a plus 1 divided by secant a minus 1. So, we know that tan a can be written as sin a by cos a and we also know that secant a cos a can be written as cos a is 1 by secant a or secant a mm. is 1 by cos a. Now, we started with left hand side, tan a is written as sin a by cos a plus sin, sin a and in the denominator sin a by cos a minus sin a, we took LCM, we took sin a common, what is left out is 1 plus cos a by 1 minus cos a, so, but we want our answer in terms of secant. So, we can leave it here, we can go to RHS and change it to cos and we can say LHS is RHS, that is also fine. Instead of that, we change the cos a into secant a by writing cos a as 1 by secant a. So, we got secant a plus 1 divided by secant a minus 1. That is the right hand side what we need to prove.